Hello everyone, please excuse those technical difficulties. Um, we are going to stream our story and art on the Temiskaming Art Gallery page. Uh, unfortunately, I did have some troubles um, streaming the event, uh, streaming the video from the event. So uh, we will look into rectifying that, but in the meantime, I'm so happy that you guys found us here. And uh, please just share to your friends if you know they're on the event page, just to make sure that everyone's able to connect and join us um, for this really fun activity. Uh, bonjour tout le monde, merci. Uh, we're gonna do our histoire et l'art aujourd'hui avec Léodine, Léodine Diallo. Hello. On est ici à le, um, Open Studio Libre. This is the studio that belongs to the Temiskaming Art Gallery. And it's a public studio space, so we do have open studio hours where you can just drop in and create art. So we're going to show you a great piece of art that you can create on your next visit here, or you can join along from home. So what we're going to be doing today are these fun transfer uh, paintings. Ooh, and there's a little bit of magic involved with this. So to start, what you need for this craft are some... I'm going to do something else. You want to do something else? Okay, Leo's ideas are already percolating in his brain. So you're going to want some heavy paper. Um, this can be purchased from the dollar store. You can hear that's a bit heavier because we are going to be getting our paintings wet. You are going to need, okay, you want to feel how thick it is? We're going to need some streamers. Now, I did do a lot of trials this weekend, and the black was the only one that I could actually transfer ink from. Okay, uh, once this gets wet, you want to keep your fingers out of it so that you don't get ink all over your fingers. So you're going to need some brushes. Oh, besoin pinceau, des papiers. Uh, des crepe paper streamer, aussi un peu de um, peinture blanc, we need white paint only, um, a dish of water is always a good idea when we're painting so that our brushes stay clean, and of course a little palette or just a piece of cardboard or somewhere to squeeze out your paint. Lastly, I did tape down our papers with some um, masking tape. This is painter's tape. And you can see that I've taped down the edges. Paper tends to curl when you wet it. Um, so it's a good idea if you have a, um, a tray or something, just tape down your paper or you can put it directly on your table. Leodin, don't break the paper. That's for someone else to share. Are you ready? T'es prêt? Okay. One more thing, um, you're gonna need the water. This is water in a spray bottle. It just, um, it's a little bit easier to put on the water without having the impulse to touch it if you have a spray bottle. And the other thing we will do is we'll just press it down with the backs of our paintbrushes. So Leoden, grab your paintbrush, please. Mommy, when I do paint something, you want Okay, so Leodin is thinking outside the box here. He would like to change what he's going to create, and he's going to try making some underground worms, which is very Halloween-y. So if you'd like to make a spooky Halloween night scene, maybe a skeleton, and then have the grand reveal, that would be pretty cool. This one is group of seven inspired, so it's a little nighttime landscape because the Temiskaming Art Gallery has our Group of Seven show on. And uh, we do encourage you guys to go out and check that out. So we're gonna start with our white paint. Vite. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to make a simple tree. So when I put my paint on the paper, I'm not gonna see anything because it's white on white. So I'm just going to make a general shape. I'm gonna make a tree trunk. Leo, you better hurry up because mom's going to be done soon. And I'm going to just zigzag back and forth. And my zigzag's going to get wider as I come down. Okay? Come on, slud. And I just needed to get a little bit more paint there just to do the base of my tree. 
Because of the glare, since the paint is wet, I can actually see what I'm making. Now you may be wondering, oh, story and art, isn't that for little kids? Yeah, it is. So let your little one finger paint or do an abstract creation. You can use stamps, um, whatever you like to make this accessible for your little one. This is washable paint, so it's, oh dear. So it's not a problem. If you get messy, just like Leoden did, it is not a problem at all. You can just wash that paint right off. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rinse my brush. And while Leoden's finishing up, I'm gonna try my best to just explain this en français. Pour commencer ce bricolage, tu as besoin d'un pinceau et la peinture blanche. Tu vas peindre un arbre ou juste quelque chose que tu aimes sur le papier et laisse les le peintures sèches. Quand, quand la peinture est séchée, on va faire les le prochaines um, steps. Léoden, Léoden, non. Est-ce que tu as fini ton arbre? Oui? Ok. All right, so now we're gonna let that dry, and while we let that dry, we're gonna take a look. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at this wonderful show we have behind us. So if you would like to join us, we're gonna take a peek at Bonnie Halley's show. This is at the Community Gallery, so this is Open Studio Libre in Halebury, and we're at 479, so that's Main Street, and Ferguson if you're looking for us. This is our community gallery wall and anyone can sign up for a show. So Bonnie Halley's show just came up and it is called Mother Nature Has the Best Box of Crayons. And Leoden, qu'est-ce que c'est les oiseaux ici? C'est qui là? Oui, on a des cardinals et aussi des chickadees. So there's some really fun little birds getting us into the winter season. And on the other side, there's a couple more um, cardinals and it's snowing. So we have an arrangement of animals and landscapes with lots of different painting techniques. And some are even drawing. So this is a really fun drawing over here. It's a simple land, uh, still life, excuse me. But this is a very fun activity to do. And this is where you work on a colored background and add colored um, chalk or crayons or pastels on top of an already colored background. So that's a great activity to try with your little ones. And we have our more traditional paintings as well. Leoden, est-ce que tu es prête pour les prochaines choses? Okay, then come on back. Assis à la table. All right, well, thanks for joining me on that little gallery tour. I hope you do come in to see the works uh, in person because they are quite spectacular. Our next step is turning our white on white painting into a night scene. So if you would like to try something cool, um, you could try some nocturnal animals. You could try something spooky like a skeleton and make it a Halloween scene, or really whatever you like. So I've already cut up my streamers into small pieces. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray our work first with water, then I'm gonna sprinkle these on and spray again. So Leonin, you're gonna watch me and then it's gonna be your turn, okay? Just a peu de l'eau. Then I'm gonna Drop these. Now remember, the ink is going to want to transfer off of these right away. So I'm going to try not to touch them once they're wet. So I'm putting these all over my, my painting. But I'm not covering everywhere. And the reason is, and you can start to see it already, right here, 
the ink is going to spread out. And if I leave space in between, I'm going to get a larger gradation. And even though my streamer is black, the colors that are going to come out are um, blues, reds, and yellows because I have all the colors mixed in and it's quite a cool effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place mine aside and Leonin is going to try his. Okay, Leonin, do you remember the steps? Okay, so you need to get your paper wet first. And while he does that, I'm going to cut him a few more pieces. So just one squirt, two squirts. Yeah. Okay, where it's dry. Yeah, but you do two squirts in the same spot. Okay. All right, so Leo's is going to take a little bit longer to dry because he put more water. That's good. Now you have to drop these on top. And remember, just drop them one at a time where it's wet. Perfect. He doesn't have to use all of those. Now, if you do do a little bit of research about this craft, um, you can find that there are brands of tissue paper that, um, that will bleed more. And that's what you want. You want it to bleed the ink out. So is that all you're putting? Because now you need to do another squirt just to make sure that they're wet. Oh, that one's already wet. You see? Don't do that one, that one's already wet. Just sit là. Ooh. All right. Is black mixing together? It's black mixing together. It looks like it's really dry down here. Can we give it a squirt down there? Okay. Ooh. Can you put a couple more just where mom put the water? In cold. Sorry, I made you cold. All right, and I'm gonna do one last one on top, and then we're gonna ask Mamie if she can come and take a little close-up at the end of this stage. Okay, so this is what your art's gonna look like. Now this one, my example, I covered more fully, but I like when I have some white in between. So I would like to see how these turn out. And this is quite an experiment. So I can already see the different colors kind of coming up. Leo's going to have a puddle here of some dark, dark color. But it's not going to stick where his paint is. So it should be interesting. All right, we're going to put these aside. And we are going to move on to our next craft. Three, well, no, c'est ma deux. Okay. Um, and our next craft is actually a plug for our paint patrol. So I'm just going to show you this is what the, um, that black crepe paper, these are the colors that come out of it. So you can see how cool that looks. It reminds me of tie dye. So I left more spaces. I'm going to see what kind of variation I'm going to get. You can see this one filled in the whole paper and it's a really fun effect. So I really did enjoy Whoa. this color transfer. There's a lot of paper. A week. It's a very thick paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this beautifully colored paper to make a mask. So our mm -hmm. next event. Do you, do you remember I wanted my wing? Your worm one, well, you painted a tree, sweetie, so we'll have to do a worm one after the video, okay? Okay, you can do another one after. Um, we're going to use this to cut out a mask, and I'm going to show you what you're going to get to do if you come to the next paint patrol. All right, so this is one of our presses. And these are 
the masks. So we're going to pick a mask. Okay? Comment tu dis mask? C'est une masque. On va choisir une masque. Alors, on a un lion. Okay? Un lion, là. Un lapin. A rabbit. Okay? Un ours. Très bien, Léoden. Ou juste une autre uh, masque avec rien. On peut, on peut mettre des, uh -huh. les... Uh, mm. Oui, c'est comme une, une heart. Mais je pense que cette place ici, c'est pour le, ton nez. Si tu veux, tu peux mettre des oreilles uh, pour faire un chat ou un chien. Um, ou peut-être des antennes pour un insecte. Okay, so this one you can make into all sorts of things. And that can go along with the Halloween costume that maybe you already have. So Leonin's going to pick one, and I'm going to show you how this really cool contraption works. Leo, est-ce que tu peux choisir quel, quel uh, masque tu veux? L'ours, le lapin ou le lion? Ou cette petite masque ici? Yeah. Le lion. Ah. Uh, okay. On va mettre notre papier ici. We're going to put our paper down. We're going to put our plate on top. Attends, le, oh. attention avec les doigts aussi. Okay, so we're going to put it over the colored section. This part's going to go inside. Okay, maintenant, Léo, je veux que tu puisses ici. Plus fort. Non, cet côté. Down, 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 down. Oh, oh attention. Okay. Essay on car. It's got to go this way, though. Okay. Plus fort. All the way down. Good. Okay. Et une autre fois. Good. So I'm just going to double check that that did, in fact, press through. Doesn't feel like a lot of pressure at the top here. Let's see if that worked. Ooh. Oh, there's some spots that stuck, but for the most part, we did pretty good. Okay. Oh, you see these les ciseaux ici. I never know that did that. Wow! Isn't that so cool? So if you want to try out the die press and you would like to make a super cool mask, come out the last Friday of the month. There's an, uh, there's an event on Facebook already ready for you guys to check out and get more details for our paint patrol. Again, that's a free school age art program. And we try to meet once a month at the end of the month. So I'm just going to separate this and then we're going to decorate our mask. Super cool, eh, Leoden? Yeah, now I want to do another one. Mais on a seulement un papier. We only had this one, sweetie. And then we got to pop out the eyes. And I brought a hole puncher, Leo, so you can so you can make these holes on the sides bigger for our elastic. So Leo's gonna try on his mask. It's a hole puncher. Mm. Okay. That's so Leo. Ours? No. Oh, actually, maybe it is. So you're gonna punch right here over that hole. Okay. Good. Hard, hard, hard. Nice. Et aussi l'autre côté. And while Leo does that, I'm going to tidy up our workplace one more time for the last step. Yeah, you're going to try that one again, sweetie? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to get this out of the way.
gonna look in the mirror. Wow. Okay. Oui, ton nom c'est comme un lion. Yeah. On a des plumes, some buttons, okay, and we even have some glitter glue. And you know, And we have elastic. On a des élastiques, des plumes, des buttons. Okay, so for this step, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach the elastic. Well, Mama. We learn. Well, lion and the scientific name has Leo in the name. Oh, the scientific name for lion has Leo in it. So I'm just measuring how big I need that. I'm going to cut that. Taylor, eh? Okay, est-ce que tu peux choisir les, some decorations? Okay, regarde mm. toutes tes plumes. Then I want you to put what you want to attach onto this tray. Ew. Ew. Well, you shouldn't have made a mess when we were painting. Oui, mon ciseau. There. Uh, I don't know what those feathers are from. Ciseau? Petite. Yep, seagulls are an awesome bird. Thanks, my man. All right. So Leo's mask is ready to decorate. Okay. I'm going to put it down flat. This one. Okay. Ooh. Mom, mom. At the back. At the back? Not at the back, at the front where you can see it. Where? That there's no line to put it. No, parce qu'on va utiliser les show. Okay, so our hot glue gun is warming up. Leo, look at these. Leo, look. You don't want any? Look at these beautiful plume. You can. We can put them on like the mane. We can pretend that they're um, they're fur. There's also matte, beaucoup de couleurs. Okay. Look at these little pom poms. Okay. If you show them where you want them, then Mama glue them on. Okay. So the coat. I don't know what type of feathers is this. Oh, I don't know either, but they're super cute. Hey, we have some little polka dot feathers. So you're gonna put them along the edges. That's beautiful. You keep doing that. Mama's gonna wait for our glue to warm up here. And of course, you can use white glue. Um. Again, you know, with my videos, I like to use the hot glue because it's faster, so I can show you. And that one's not being very cooperative right now. Wow, that's so beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up our trees here in the studio and if you guys come for a visit you can check out what the end result looked like. So I just moved around some of mine and you can see it's starting to change the way it looks. Very nice. Beautiful Leoden. Do you want any pom-poms as well?
So it's always a good idea when we're using a glue gun to have an adult help. And we do have a couple of volunteers that come to join us for paint patrol. However, if your little ones are 12 years or under, um, they do need to have a adult accompanying them. Right there? Parfait. Ok, est-ce que tu es fini? Ou est-ce que tu vas mettre plus de choses? I want to put... That's it. That's, That's it? it? Ok, hold on. You have to show You have to show everyone. And you have to... Hey, debout. Ok. Say, th thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Merci tout le monde. We'll see you next time. And come check out our beautiful tree crafts. I'm going to put them on our idea board. And again, you can find that at the Open Studio Leave corner of Maine and Ferguson in Halebury. See you later.